Cool. Uh, welcome to NomCom DOC. Um, my name is Dave. I'm here with Aiden. And yes, we're commentating the loser's final between Connor and Owen. Yeah, Owen's uh, he's pretty on form at the moment. He's on point with his peach. Yeah, his peach. He, he wants the salty run back uh, grand yeah. finals, I think. In the last match there, I thought I picked Fountain of Dreams because it was a small stage, but then he yeah, started... Yeah, it's a good good get, It's a good map for Mart, though. He fairness. started uh, down smashing me through the platforms. Yeah. Up down. I was like, I shouldn't have picked this level. It's I should have picked a different one. Peach is still as formidable an error in Project M. She seems ridiculous. I was just saying to Connor that her ass attack seems a lot more devastating than it ever was. The down smash? The side, uh, side B, I think it is. Did he do those. side B on me? He did it once, yeah, and it it murdered you. I didn't uh, I didn't see that one. Oh, it's one it's final, final destination. destination. I'm what? trying to think what, who benefits more from this map. Because they both kind of have nonsense projectiles. Yeah, they do. I'd say Ness, since he gets, um, he's got a pretty good spike. That Connor can spike. Yeah, really well. he's got that combo that uh, yeah. Connor's been loads with the yeah that PK fire straight into a grab. And like Peach can recover from the sides, but she can't recover from down. Yeah. I need to put my glasses on to see this TV. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, Brian. It's there you're doing your best. Appreciate it. Shout outs to Doctor Doom recording project now. <laughs> There's my nice umbrella there. Uh, don't really know what the characters are, need to be doing in this matchup. Like the um, Ness's PK fire seems ridiculous in this game. Like Ness is kind of he's kind of a balanced character. He's got a lot of kind of up close power, but he's got a lot of uh, rangey annoying powers as well. And his forward smash can like reflect any projectile. Yeah. Really easily as well. I was messing around with him and it doesn't and take a lot of And he can stun people with his new little energy shield thing as well. And it absorbs. Really? Uh, it absorbs projectiles as well, yeah. Well, I don't think it absorbs like the turnips, but uh, it absorbs like Zelda's Din's fire and things like that. That's awesome. Because he was doing it against me earlier where he would, just before he recovered, would do his little uh, neutral B shield and it would just absorb the Din's fire. Wow. Okay, so, wow, okay. We're about to see someone's going to lose a life first. But they're both fishing with the big oh. killers. Oh, the nest back throw. They've both got pretty powerful throws for these kind of percents. Yeah, so Ness's back throw, forward one. Peach's forward one, yeah. Um, is, do you know if Ness's uh, forward throw is still that like set distance that doesn't change your damage? Oh, I actually don't know. It seems like one of those things that they'd probably change, I guess, because it's... Then again, maybe the veteran Ness players wouldn't like it because they're used to being able to do certain yeah. setups with it. And yeah, it's like... Um, uh, what's that? The limited time get-ups in Street Fighter. Like you always know where they're going to be at zero or at two yeah. percent damage. You can do your setups off of that. He's really good at recovering Ness. I yeah. remember when I used to try Ness in melee, I would just fail miserably. But wouldn't go for PK fires that close. Oh. oh. Yeah, with Peach's priority doing a projectile move up that close, if it whiffs, you're going to get. She's probably going to trade damage with you anyway, either way. I had no idea as well in the earlier match that uh, she could get the that kind of a beam sword. Yeah. Like I knew she could get the sword. That the beam Saturn sword the is bomb. way more powerful than it ever was in Melee. It, it stretches out when she does a dash attack with it and yeah. like goes half the screen around. Oh! <laughs> My god. You don't they say Peach is priority, but <laughs> you don't have prioritize Ness's up -y. Uh Tales of Electric Ness. You can't be edge guard in that. I was saying as well that in the American version of Melee, before they balanced it for Europe, when Ness did that, he was counted as a projectile. Yeah. So you could catch him in Mr. Game and watch his bucket. I, I need to see that. And I need to look up videos. And the game would freeze for a second and they both just fly off the stage dead. But it was that was great. You should be able to put a couple of Nesses in your bucket and just oh, and then just later. A 3v1 Ness battle, all yeah. of them just into your bucket and then... <laughs> taunt. Taunt. Yeah. Taunt. <laughs> Then what's he, the Ness's uh, jumping forward A and his running A have got like such good party and all those little electric hits. I yeah, don't know, they I don't do. know what to meet that with. You can, um, I think you can still do it in this where you can double jump really, really quickly with Ness to get a super, super low uh, short hop. And you can um, L cancel that really, really easily. The combos, I imagine, into a lot of his stuff as he lands. That sounds nuts. That'd it take away his second jump though if you can hit him out of it? Um, does it? I don't know. See, this is so much I don't know about, not only like just Project M in general, but like just lots of other characters that I never would have yeah. ever really played, even in Melee, like. That flame move, I yeah, don't know how to get out of that. It's, I think, I, I was trying to do it earlier where I just kind of short hop it over it and then try and... If he hits you, can you DI up to get away from the... Uh... Yeah, you can smash DI, I think, uh, out of it to try and... Um, um, Zelda has 
moves where she can hammer um what is it the the shield her neutral B. Oh, her uh, reflector, yeah. Yeah, her um, reflector. I think that's like her kind of safest get out of jail free card move. I'm sure there's a uh, Ness has one. I'd say his four there is actually quite good for that as well. He's very close game. Much closer than my game of them. This is, it's tense. One one good throw will probably oh, do it. One one powerful enough turn up to do it as Ooh. well. Oh. That, that combo so strong. So good for setups. Oh. No! Is that the end? <gasps> oh, it's the wrong right move! <gasps> oh. oh! I think that goes oh. here. No, did he's he, on the wrong side of the stage. The, uh, did he do the energy absorber on purpose <gasps> to stop his downward momentum? Is I that think, intentional? I, th I, th I think he did, because it, like... He must have, because the, the turn-up didn't actually um, do anything to him. I thought it was an execution error that he was going to commit suicide. But, uh, apparently not. Oh, no one takes it. That peach priority really shining through there. Uh, no, no character changes, so they're going to go for a stage change. The noise cancelling of these headphones are great. Yeah, it's <laughs> the first time he got them, I was like, "Wow, I can't this is incredible!" Nonsense. I want these all the time. <laughs> So I wonder what stages they're going to strike out here. I would need to know what was good for Ness and what was good for Peach. I have no idea. Um, I think they both kind of uh, benefit from the same kind of levels, like platforms. Like they both kind of have means of continuing combos by manipulating their second jumps and stuff. <laughs> Everyone's getting very hype. A seven up bottle fizzed up when someone opened it. Yeah, that's how we roll. That's here. how hype it is here. <laughs> seven up can't contain itself. <laughs> It's on, it's on, it's on yeah, the other that side. isn't funny. Yeah, but I think it, I think it managed managed to just go on the ground. So Pokemon Stadium Two, this is the one that doesn't change, right? Um, Peach. <laughs> Peach. Peach won the last game. Uh, Owen did. Owen, sorry. Um, yeah, so this is just the same, pretty much as Pokemon Stadium One, except this one doesn't change at all, does it? It just stays like this, stays neutral. Oh yeah, I didn't uh, didn't realize that. I probably played on Yeah, someone a few said times. earlier they took out the transformations and they just have it as a neutral stage now. That doesn't transform. I'd say that. I'm trying to think now who benefits better from the platforms. Yeah, it's one tone. <laughs> Shout outs to Mike, who is pulling us off of commentary to ask us the score. We did pull him off commentary a lot to be like, Mike, what's the counter pick <laughs> rule again? Mike? Oh, that back throw, though. It's great that as much Smash and you and me have played, we still don't know the rules. Yeah! <laughs> it's just, I just don't know the, the whole stage banning thing, because in Melee there was only like three stages you could play in, pretty much tournament rules, and yeah. then there was like two counterfeit stages. Like. Oh, nice! Oh, that was wonderful. Not even the down smash can deal with Electric Ness. He's still in it. <gasps> he oh. Is, oh, he's, he's still alive. Jump, has he? Oh, good effort. Oh. Hmm. I'm trying to think of something to say here. This matchup. Like, both characters have good, like, um, ground running attacks. And yeah. Like, uh, run, short hop, A attacks to kind of get in. Yeah. They both have really irritating projectiles. They're more similar than I realized. They've got weird ass jumps. Oh. But yeah, Peach doesn't have that. No, she does Her not. Her ass doesn't contain that kind of power. No, it's. No matter how much she wants it to. <laughs> That's a nice, tasty bit of damage there. Yeah, Peach is, uh, like, it would have been Ness who picked this level, so. Or would it have? I don't even know. Um, I'm not sure. I wasn't quite paying attention at the uh, picking process. 
Ness is two stocks up here. Connor run it back to one apiece. You can probably can probably hear it on the stream, but we're having time descent, issues. Descent within the ranks. This one is pretty decisively in favor of Peach. Oh no, it's not. Sorry, I'm actually looking at the wrong lives. That down smash. Oh, now I'll never know what happened. Ness's yo-yo and this as well actually does something. Yeah, can he move it around while he has it charged up to like position it or something? Did I see someone doing I that earlier? I have no idea. But you can hang it over the edge, and um, it's really difficult oh, to recover. Oh, you can walk the dog. Against. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow, that's awesome. And it just kind of goes whoosh, down, kind of slightly off the edge. Because I remember in melee, all it would do is like give your opponents like a light massage. Yeah. Like, and you like roll <laughs> it those was bad. Roll, roll those things across your neck, and you're like, oh, that gets. Sometimes it actually like sucked them into you, which you didn't yeah. want to be in. It's like, well, <laughs> now I'm just gonna get punished. So it's one apiece. One apiece. Very even. How do you feel? Who, who do you want to? Who do you want to fight in the grand final? Who are you going for as uh, opponent? You want to beat? Well, <laughs> oh god! It appears the level nine snake has <laughs> mid tournament decided he wants to make it into grand finals, <laughs> and he's challenged Nestor. Oh, you can't even kill yourself on this level because it's got walls. If Snake actually wins, um, <laughs> what happens? I think you fight Snake in the grand final. <laughs> I don't know if I'm ready for that. Uh, nobody could have seen it earlier, but on one of the casual setups, uh, Toon Link kept appearing as a challenger. Yeah, <laughs> nobody, we all lost to him. <laughs> nobody on the setup could him. Toon Link he was the winner. That stupid pirate ship level yeah. just would not die. <laughs> that that kid knows how to swim. <laughs> Mama Come Link, on, Mama Link definitely gave him Hillian swimming lessons. Snake Woo! Yeah. It's almost like a Super Bowl, <laughs> Super Bowl halftime show kind of thing. It's like a quick, <laughs> quick one-on-one -on -one with Snake. So I'll, I'll explain this to Doom as well as the stream. You might not know. Despite the fact that the Brawl save file has everything unlocked and the Project M modification also unlocks everything, sometimes there's a random bug. Characters will challenge you to fight. <laughs> yeah, we we had it earlier in one of the casual setups, and we couldn't beat the CPU. He kept beating us every time we played a match. So it's especially embarrassing. It was, yeah. Has this ever, does this happen at like proper tournaments? Do they get the challenge you're approaching things? I don't up? think so. they pro they must have. I'd say they probably played their setup so much that it's just kind of cycled through them all, so they have them kind okay. of that way unlocked. Because I am I am going for Toon Link at Evo. Like I want him to take it. Yeah, level nine CPU Toon Link. He's the hot favorite right now. So okay, we're on battlefield now. Which yeah, this be. is a this is a good stage for both of these guys. I think it's fairly. Lots of projectile nonsense. Yeah, there's uh, lots of uh, combo continuing opportunities for them. Oh, oh that was a nice that back foot. air. Yeah, the question earlier, who do you hope who do you hope to face in the grand final? I'd say only because he's a good friend of mine, but Owen probably because I also know how to play against him a lot better than I would against this newfangled Ness. He's he's tough enough to deal with. Like, yeah, I'm not um, I'm not entirely sure how to play versus him. Cause he's got similar tools to Sheik. Like, he's got long range poke and he's got some uh, up close good options as well. It's hard to know what to do. And uh, because I'm probably going to need to talk about it if I'm on commentary for your match, what sort of stages are you going to go for? Oh, um, h highly favoring, of course, Final Destination. It's my favorite map. It's, it's just it's just really good for Sheik. She's got a lot of maneuvering. and But platform stages are good for her too because she can do a lot of um, kind of mix-up-y stuff. Like where if you knock people onto the ground, she can like wave dash backwards off platforms and land, land cancel some stuff. Her down throw is really, really different now. Though. That's the thing that's fun, really hard to get used to. It's so fast now. You don't have like as much reaction time to like jump up and aerial people or tilt them or whatever. Yeah, you can't react to how they di. Yeah. Sorry about your practice. 
But yeah, Final Destination and then Battlefield or Faint of Dreams. Any of the kind of the neutral melee stages I'll be going for, I guess. Are any stages bad for Sheik? Um, against Peach, anything that has really um, big sides is kind of bad because it's much harder to kill her than with like your air fair, which is like Sheik's main killing tool. Yeah. Um, short ceilings are good against her, especially. Uh, see, I, I'm not sure about it, but I think Sheik's up air is maybe slightly more powerful than it was before. So you want close blast lines? You yes. Wanna, you don't want to give her a chance to recover. Yeah. But at the opposite end of the, uh, you know, the spectrum, um, short sides are good for Peach as well because 100% uh, forward grab near the edge could be... Oh, that was a nice down smash. Oh. oh turn up sniped. Oh, oh my whoa, God. what a recovery. Oh, that was excellent. This is going down to the wire as well. Yeah. Very even game between hype, these guys. Hype semis. Oh, oh, there's the toad. toad! We saw it, so it, it does exist. My god! It does exist. Peach still rocking that slave labor. Yeah. It's kind of terrifying how she, like, just pulls it out of her vagina almost. <laughs> she stores it there, like. Oh, like, it is a fungus. Yeah. <laughs> oh god, I hadn't even thought of that. Oh, that down smash. You can't, you can't go rolling through that. It's so, so good. He is aiming himself like he is an electric nest sniper. Yeah, he's, he's not content to get back on the level. He wants to hit you with his head. Ness trying to get back down to the ground level. Peach not allowing it. Yeah, Peach is... Oh, oh What turn up was that? I'm not sure. I don't think it was a sick one. I think it was one of the... Maybe the dotty-eyed ones or the circly-eyed ones. I can't... I can never remember which is the second most powerful one. So Ness has gotten back down to the middle of the stage, which is where he seems yeah, to want just, to be. this is where he has to be. Yeah, check up the odd PK cross. Wow. Her damage is too high for the fire throw combo, so he's got to come up with something else. Yeah. Just charging his yo-yo. Oh, that's oh, not, not that what was he to do. It's probably a PK fire he was going for. Yeah, he was going for a slide one off the edge or something. Yeah, like that. That moves so good, so you can throw it diagonally on the ground, and then it go or it goes diagonally in the air. And yeah. Like Peach's needles, they're yeah. not as Sheik's needles, Needle exactly needles, like yeah. you were saying. Oh, she, oh, she learned that time, <sighs> she, recovery. she rolled backwards. Uh, this would be so much more tense if it was last stock each, but oh. Peach is still at the advantage. Oh my god, he plows wow. through the turn up. Peach just walking up to the edge like a boss. Oh, oh very nice, throw. nice combo. This is She's tense. blasting off again. What is Ness at? 117. There's so can many moves some... she can do oh. that blend this instantly. Yeah, she's got a lot of disposal. Oh, very tasty. You can do it, Nez. Oh. oh! Unfortunate. Geometry does not benefit him this day. It was a great set, though. Cool, I think you need to go and play a game now. I think I do, yeah. <sighs> Alright, well, anyone who's watching stream, wish me luck.